Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will configure S7-1200 CPU as OPC US server. Please don't forget to hit like button if you find this video helpful to you and subscribe for more upcoming videos. First note that, to use the OPC UA in S7-1200 PLC, firmware version should be 4.4 or higher. You can also upgrade the CPU firmware if you are having lower version. Link for the procedure to upgrade the CPU firmware version is also given in the description of this video. Here in this sample backup, I have created two data blocks DB2 and DB3. And I have also created a move block to move the value from DB2 tag 1 to DB3 tag 1. This is just for testing purpose. Now let us go online and check the existing firmware version of the CPU. Go to online and diagnostics, function and firmware update. The firmware version of the CPU is 4.5.2. So with this CPU I can configure the OPC US server. Now let us check what is configured in the offline backup. Offline configuration is showing version 4.2, so we need to change this in the configuration. Highest version available in the configuration is depend on the TI portal version. As on date, version 5.4 is available on TI portal version 17. Here I am using TI portal version 16. So select the highest version available that is version 4.4. You can observe OPC UA configuration is now available on the project menu tree. Now in the device view of the CPU go to OPC UA section, go to server section and activate the OPC UA server. Here you can configure maximum number of OPC session that PLC can handle at a time. That means maximum 5 connection at a time you can create with the CPU. You can also modify the security policy on the OPC server. Same policy is required to configure on your client side. So if you are not sure at the client side settings you can keep the no security option in the check condition. You can also add the specific client as a trusted client. And also define the user password authentication to access the OPC server. Now in the runtime licenses, select the license type. When you compile, backup is not going to check the actual license, whether it is available or not. But when you are using it commercially, it is recommended to purchase the valid license. MLFP number for the required license is 6ES7823-0B0-02B0. Now open the OPC UA communication section and add new server interface. Here add the tags those are required to access on the OPC UA server. For example, I am adding two tags from DB2. and adding complete db3. Now save 
and download the backup to the PLC. Note that as we have changed the firmware version in the configuration, it will reset the PLC and download the complete program again. So PLC will be stopped during the download. Download completed and now starting the CPU. Now let us check the OPC UA client software. URL to connect the OPC US server can be found at the OPC US section of the general tab. This particular option may vary based on the client software or SCADA you are using. A client is asking whether we trust this server or not. And if yes, then it will connect with the server and get the trust certificate from the server. Now our client is connected with the OPC US server of the PLC. Here in certificate manager, you can find the certificate that is transferred from the PLC to the computer. Our text can be found under the server interface section. Now let us add some more tags in the client and compare the value with the PLC data. If I am changing value from the PLC, same are updated on the OPC UA client. And similarly, if I am changing value from the OPC UA client, same are getting reflected on the PLC side. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful to you. Then don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more upcoming training videos. Thank you and see you in next video.